Welcome, champions, to another exciting Alliance War season. Get ready for more epic showdowns as Ford Loki takes the field after an undefeated season 50. Can we continue our winning streak, or will we face the crushing blow of defeat? Stay tuned, smash that like button, and subscribe for more MCOC action. It's game time, so let's fight. All right, we are back for the second war of the season, and I am bringing in the team of Deathless King Groot, Mole Man, and America Chavez. I am being assigned a boss fight for the first time in my history in Four Loki. So it has been a very long time since I've taken a boss. I am boosting very, very big. Um, and we're going to see how we do. But this first fight up, one that you've seen me take before. Well, not necessarily against Hulkbuster, but the fight is still the same. We're going to get a parry. We're going to throw a special one. We're going to get our clarity charge. And from there, it's just a pretty much a standard Hulkbuster fight. We're going to try to bait out a special one. We do take a few hits there. Not a big deal. I have a little bit of willpower healing. I've got 10 Furies right now. I just need him to give me a parry. And I'm going to throw a special two. And that is a chunky special two. That one felt good. Next fight up, I'm going to be using Mole Man against this Void. And much like that first fight, the theory here is I'm going in with, you know, the power start one on. I'm going to parry, heavy, parry, heavy, parry, heavy, let him hit into my block, throw a special two, and end the fight. Well, that was the plan. You know, there I thought, and I did get a very clean parry. You saw parry come up there, but my debuffs hadn't gone off, so it didn't stick. Unfortunate, but it does happen. But there we go. A couple parries. Let him hit into my block. Get into Frenzy. And this fight is over in under 20 seconds. All right. And for the third fight in this war, we're going to jump over to Path 8 in Section 2. And we've got this Nightcrawler. You know, I haven't fought Nightcrawler in anything meaningful since his buff. And I know since his buff, getting him to switch stances is a lot harder. So my plan going in here, just like with most DKG fights in War of the Season, I'm going to go Power Start 1, parry, throw the special 1, I'll get the Clarity Charge, he can't evade me, and then it's just a Nightcrawler fight from there. And not too difficult. So there we go, we get that in. You know, we get a start getting the hits in you know we're trying to build up some furies here as we go and i'm just not getting the rng i've only got five furies that are going to come over so we bait this special two you know throw a five hit combo could have thrown a special two there but we do one hit special two and it just wasn't that big because of the you know the lack of furies so we do have the incinerate on it's doing some pretty good damage and now we just need a couple more hits throw the striker out there and finish it off Alrighty, now, I was worried a lot about the boss fight. I should have focused more on this fight. So, you know, gore on this node can be a pain in the butt. But my plan going in here was to try to keep three negative zones up at all time. So, you know, it's going to be parry, one or two hits, into a three-hit heavy. There we go. Just like that. And now we're going to hope to rinse and repeat it. Could have gotten another hit in there or something, but we've got two on there now. And there's the first thing. You know, I typically don't have any problems fighting him, and I got caught on a dash back there. Okay, not a big deal. We still have plenty of health. Just going to slow the fight down a little bit. You know, it's going to let us get to a special two. I probably should have done more hits there and thrown a special two. And now here, the second time in the war, I get caught on a dash back. Now I'm against the wall. I take that hit in the block, and you know what? If this doesn't kill, it's over. Got him down to 17%, and it's just over from the uh, debuffs on me. What a crappy way to end up losing a fight um, after you know going through last season deathless, you know on 70-ish straight without a death. Just did not feel good at all, and not really 
you know, kind of ramping me up for um, the boss fight that I've got to take here in a minute. So we're going to revive. We're going to heal up. We're going to finish them off. Probably, you know, probably should have turned recoils off for this fight as well. Um, but my plan was, you know, really I was only going to throw one special two. Uh, at most two. You know, don't get hit on the dash backs. And, you know, come out, you know, in pretty good shape with a pretty quick fight. It just didn't work out. And, you know, I feel horrible. You know, at the time when I died, that kind of made it tied at six kills to six kills. So, you know, I'm thinking, oh, man, I probably lost us the war. But, you know, we go in and the cleanup goes just fine. So now, like I said, going into this fight, we were tied. And I just died on that stupid gore fight. But you know what? Mole Man was built for this fight. So the process, the thought process here is I'm going to go in with um, recoils on so that he can hit into my block. I will go unstoppable and I can heavy counter right away to get the first heavy counter on there and get some charges built up so that I can then just heavy counter from here on. So see that he hits in the block, I throw a heavy. He hits in no block, I throw a heavy. Now we just need to get to a special two. We're going to go ahead and do one more. There's another heavy. Now we're at our special two. Now, oh, sorry, one more heavy in there just to build up my charges. And there we go. Now we drop the first special two. We got almost back to a, a special two there. Now we just need him to throw his special two. We're going to take it in a block. We're just going to be safe. And then we're going to come back in five hit combo and we're going to drop another special two. Does that fine? I get caught a couple times there. Fortunately, I'm able to dash back out of it. And we're going to take the special one and just block it. Now we're going to get into our combo here. I should have thrown some heavies here, but I was hoping this special two would actually kill. It didn't. Left a little short. So we're going to take you know his special two in the block. It does do a decent amount of damage in the block, um, which kind of surprised me here. You know we have no charges up, so we can't really get a clean counter. So we have to bait a heavy. But all things considered, I will take that as a victory. That is my first boss kill in for Loki. Nice and clean-ish. Um, fairly fast. And, you know, lets me get out of that war without a second death. All in all, I feel pretty good about the war. Even with the death to gore. You know, preventable, yes. But the boss kill kind of made up for it. And fortunately um, for us, unfortunately for ISO 8A, they kind of fell apart on the last couple fights and we did end up pulling out a very, very close victory. Uh, it was tied most of the way to the end. We actually fell behind by a death and then they ended up dying twice in the last like 10 fights or something like that. So, you know, that does give us our first win on the season, which is great. We did need it. Um, you know, starting off 0-2 is not a great spot to be. I do improve my record to nine kills with a boss solo, but I do have the one death. So, you know, all in all, mixed war for me. Record is now one and one. So that's going to wrap up my main account wars. Coming up are the free-to-play wars. Please feel free to watch if you want. If not, please hit that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more MCOC action. And until the next one all, take care.